Hi, my name's Carol. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This video is all about nurturing and nourishing the body, finding balance from within. And it's all about focusing on the dristy, the gaze, whether it's the external gaze, focusing on a center point or a focal point, or focusing on certain areas of, of your body. This will help you find grounding and balance within your body, as well as a moving meditation. If you can, try and grab some pillows, perhaps a couple of blocks, just to allow you to remain relaxed throughout your practice. As always, refer to a general practitioner if you're starting um, first time within yoga, and always listen to your body, modify accordingly. So, have some fun, let's get started, come onto your mat. Coming into a comfortable seated position, whether it's legs lengthened along or easy cross-legged pose or half lotus, whatever suits your practice. I'm using a block. I like to elevate my hips a little bit, and releases any tension within the knees. Extend the arms long, palms open, sit tall, lengthen the spine, and come into Gandha Mudra. This is our grounding mudra, our Mulanbandra mudra. So feel the remaining fingertips drawing towards the floor and gently close your eyes. And as you withdraw from the outside world, you begin to tune in to your body. Drawing awareness of how you've arrived on your mat. And as you find stillness, you feel the gentle free-flowing breath moving in through your body. And out through your body. Without any force, without any effort. Slowly drawing the breath in through the nose and out through the nose. Deep breath in. Long breath out. Deep inhalation. And a long exhalation. Feel your outer body expanding as you inhale. And relax the shoulders, soften the knees as you exhale. Deep breath in. Long cleansing breath out. Moving into our alternative nostril cleansing breath. Release your hands and raise your right hand, place your index and middle finger on your third eye. Before we begin, take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. Close your right nostril with your thumb. Inhale left. Close your left nostril with your ring finger. Exhale right. Inhale right. Close right. Exhale left. Inhale left. Close left. Exhale right. Inhale right. Close right. Exhale left. Inhale left. Close left. Exhale right. Inhale right. Close right, exhale left. Inhale right, exhale left. 
and holla. Close left, exhale right. Inhale right. Close right, exhale left. Last round, inhale left. Close left, exhale right. Inhale right. Close right, exhale left. Keep the eyelids gently closed, release your hands onto your knees, keep sitting tall. Take two slow deep breaths. Last one. And slowly and gently open the eyelids, coming into Balasana Child's Pose. So lifting your hips up, releasing your legs, move your legs side to side or extend the legs long, move the ankles side to side, whatever feels right for your body. And coming into wide leg toes, so knees quite wide, toes are together, sit onto your bones and slowly walk your hands forward. You're quite welcome to use a pillow if that's what you need this morning or this afternoon. And lower your forehead down in between the arms. Just feel the spine lengthening. Close the eyes. Allow the inner thighs to gently open. Take two long deep breaths. Last one. Inhale, gently look up in between the hands, come up high to your fingertips. Exhale, walk your hands to the right side. Head, shoulder width apart, chest onto your thighs. And as you exhale, gently lower your palms, forearms and forehead down in between the arms. Feel this lengthening of the left side of the body. Relax the shoulders, take two deep breaths. Last one. Inhale, gently look up in between the hands, come up high to your fingertips. Exhale, walk your hands to the left side. Stretch the arms long, chest onto your thighs, and as you exhale, slowly release your forearms and forehead down in between the arms. And just feel this lovely stretch to the right side of the body. Two breaths here. Last one. Inhale, gently look up in between the hands. Come up high to your fingertips. Exhale, walk your hands back towards the center of your mat. Stretch the arms long, sit bones onto your heels. As you inhale, look up, shoulders away from the ears. And as you exhale, gently lower your palms, forearms and forehead down in between the arms. And relax here, take two deep breaths. Last one. And slowly pressing down onto your palms, walk your hands back toward your body and lift the body up, come into tabletop at the front of your mat. Hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, feet hip distance apart. Moving into our cat and cow, this is one of the most wonderful ways of releasing your spine, warming up our spine. So using your breath, your spine is in a neutral position. Inhale, draw the belly down, heart comes through, sit bones high, look up towards the ceiling. Exhale, cut, rounding your spine, tucking the tailbone, and draw the chest and chin under. Inhale, draw the belly down, heart comes through, arms extended, look up towards the ceiling. Exhale, cut, round the spine, tucking the tailbone, and draw the chest and chin under. Two more, inhale. 
Feel each vertebrae moving in unison with the breath. Exhale, cat, round the spine, tuck in the tailbone and draw the chest and chin under. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Return to your neutral spine, coming into downward facing dog, Adamuk Swanasana. Inhale, tuck the toes, exhale, send the sit bones high. So this is your first downward facing dog, so just pedal the feet, bend the knees one at a time, hands pressing heavy onto the floor, shoulders away from the ears. Organically move your body side to side, whatever feels right for your body. And as you inhale, raise both heels high, stretch the toes, and as you exhale, release the heels back towards the back of the mat, lengthen the hamstrings as you draw your chest towards your thighs. Inhale, raise both heels high. Exhale, release the heels back towards the back of the mat. Last one. Inhale, raise both heels high. Exhale, release the heels back towards the back of the mat. Gently lower your knees down the tabletop, coming in to thread the needle right side. Hand shoulder width apart. As you inhale, raise your right arm high. Open up the chest. Exhale, round your thoracic spine. Right shoulder, right cheek down onto the ground. Slowly draw your left arm forward, palm flat. Now relax into the posture. This is a gentle opening of the thoracic as well as opening up the front of the right shoulder. Take two deep breaths. Deep breath in. Long breath out. Last one, inhale. And exhale. And slowly releasing, drawing your left palm down beside your head. As you inhale, unthread your right arm, raise the right arm high. Exhale, release the right hand down. Draw the knees together, ankles together, tuck your toes. And slowly walk your hands back towards your body, making sure that the little pinky toes are getting some love. So if this is quite challenging, come to a kneeling position and just stretch, stretch the toes or come and place your sit bones onto your heels. Now extend the arms back, interlacing the fingers. Draw the arms back as you open up the chest. Inhale, lift the crown high. Exhale, wrist to the right hip. Slowly draw the crown up towards the ceiling as you inhale. Exhale, right ear, right shoulder. So you feel a slightly stretch through the left area of the neck and shoulder. Two breaths here. Last one. Inhale, slowly draw the head back to centre, extend both arms long, exhale, release. Draw your hands back to shoulder width apart, return to tabletop. Release the toes, tap the toes onto the floor, releasing the tops of the toes and coming to thread the needle left side. Inhale, raise your left arm high, open up the chest. Exhale, round the thoracic spine, left shoulder, left cheek down onto the floor. Stretch your right arm forward, palm flat. And just allow this gentle stretch. Breathe, two breaths here. Last one. And slowly draw your right arm down beside your head as you inhale, unthread your left arm. Raise the left arm high. Exhale, release. Draw your knees together, ankles together. Again, stretching the toes. Slowly walk your fingers back towards your body. Sit bones onto your heels or come into a kneeling position. Extend the arms back. Now try and change the grip of your hands now. Inhale, extend the arms back. Open up the chest. Exhale, wrist to the left hip. Inhale, lengthen your torso, crown long. Exhale, left ear, left shoulder. And keep drawing that right shoulder away from the right ear. Two breaths here. Last one.
Moving slowly as you inhale, draw the head back to center, extend both arms long. Exhale, release. Come back into downward facing dog, Adho Bhagavad Svanasana. So hands underneath the shoulders, stretch your fingers wide, knees underneath the hips, feet hip distance apart. Inhale, tuck the toes, and as you exhale, send the sit bones high, pressing onto your palms. Feet are slightly pigeon toe, and slowly draw the chest towards your thighs, lengthen the hamstrings, and feel the spine lengthening. Shoulders away from the ears, rotate the inner arms so the arms are lengthened and long. Two breaths here, deep breath in. Long breath out. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Coming into yogi dangle. So walk your hands towards your feet. Feet remain hip distance apart. Chest, <coughs> excuse me. Chest onto your thighs. Tuck the chin, draw the crown of the head down towards the floor. Bend the knees generously. Now you're quite welcome to hands onto your shins and make sure that your knees are bent. Try and take hold of the opposite elbows to so feel the spine lengthening. Now, if you feel your body opening now, try and straighten both legs. One at a time, whatever feels right for your body. Keep the breath flowing. Two breaths here. Last one. Now release your hands, tuck your chin, ground your feet as you inhale, draw the belly button in towards your back of the spine and slowly roll up. Ground your feet, lifting your torso up, rolling up one vertebra at a time. Draw the crown of the head last. Draw the shoulders forward as you raise your shoulders up towards the ears. Rotate the shoulders back, lift the heart forward, extend the arms down beside your body, Tadasana Mountain Pose. Beautiful. Now keep the feet hip distance apart. We're going to stretch the spine now. Right hand onto your right thigh. As you inhale, raise your left arm up beside your left ear and lean your body to the right. So take a lateral stretch. Try and keep the knees slightly micro bent. As you inhale, stretch the body and as you exhale, lean your body to the right. Breathe. Two more breaths. Last one. Inhale, slowly draw the torso back to centre. Left hand comes onto your left thigh. And as you exhale, raise your right arm up beside the right ear. Again, try and keep the shoulders aligned, chest open. Inhale, lengthen. That's my puppy. Exhale, lean your body to the left. Two breaths here. Last one. Moving slowly, inhale, raise your torso up, lengthen the spine, right hand onto your left thigh. Exhale, raise your left arm up, so the left ear. Two breaths here. Last one. Inhale, slowly draw the torso back to centre, left hand onto your left thigh, raise your right arm up beside the right ear, lean your body to the left, and feel this lovely lateral stretch through the right side of the body. Two breaths here. This is a wonderful way just to open up the body first thing in the morning. Last one. Inhale, ground your feet, lift the torso up. Exhale, Tadasana. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhand, draw your hands into prayer. Exhale, standing forward fold. Bend forward, chest toward your thighs, palms flat beside the feet. Feet are hip distance apart, halfway lift. Inhale, hands on your shins, lengthen your legs, spine is long, neck is relaxed. Exhale, bend forward from the hips, chest towards your thighs, bend the knees so that's comfortable for you. One more time, inhale, half eye lift, lengthen your legs, spine long, shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, hinge forward, chest towards your thighs, palms flat beside the feet. Half eye lift, inhale, hands onto your shins, lengthen your legs. 
Exhale, bend both knees, step your left foot back, lower your left knee down onto the ground. High lunge, one breath, raise your arms up towards the ceiling. So front knee stays directly over your ankle, shoulders away from the ears. Look forward at one point in front of you. Breathe. Last breath. If you want, want to work a little further, you can come into high lunge, whatever's in your practice. Inhale, lengthen your arms. Exhale, left hand onto your right thigh, right hand onto your left hip. Draw the shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, lift the crown high. Exhale, turn your body to the left, right. So use your breath as you inhale, lift the torso. Exhale, turn your body to the right. Two breaths here. Last one. Return to low lunge, inhale, sweep your arms high towards the ceiling. Exhale, draw your arms into cactus shape. Open up the chest. Inhale, circle the arms behind you. Extend the arms forward, ground that front foot. Exhale, back to cactus shape. Inhale, circle the arms behind you. Extend the arms forward. Exhale, back to cactus shape. Two more, inhale. And exhale. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, lift the fingertips high, chest open. Exhale, take a bind. Right arm over your left. So you can take hold of your left wrist, hands in prayer. Elbows in line with the shoulders, drop the shoulders down. Two breaths here. Deep breath in. Long breath out. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, keep looking forward. Exhale, raise your arms overhead. If you find you've got your balance, inhale, shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, raise your arms overhead. Look up towards the ceiling. Two breaths here. Last one. Inhale, slowly draw the elbows back to center. Exhale, release. Draw your hands around your front foot. Come into runner's lunge. Inhale, tuck that left toe. Exhale, raise your left knee. Draw the body forward. Breathe. Last breath. Inhale, draw the torso forward, lengthen your left leg. Exhale, lay your palms flat onto the floor. Inhale, drop the hips down. Exhale, option one, right hand onto your right hip. Or option two, extend your right arm long. Open up the chest, drop the hips down. Two breaths here. Last one. And slowly release your right palm down, lower your left knee down. Come into your extended puppy, so draw that right knee back to join your left. Hips are above the knees. Slowly walk your hands forward and lower your forearms, forehead down in between the arms. Option one, stay here. Option two, inhale, look up, exhale, drop the chest and chin down onto the floor. This is a deep thoracic opening of the back. Breathe. Two more breaths. Last one. Inhale. Lift your upper body up, slide your body forward, come into Sphinx Pose. So lower your belly down, toes in, heels out, elbows in line with the shoulders, palms flat, stretch your fingers wide. Draw the shoulder blades down your back, lift the sternum forward. Look down in between the hands and breathe.
Sphinx pose, half frog pose. Inhale, lift the upper body up. Exhale, bend your right knee, draw the right knee out to the side, flex that right foot. Right knee in line with the right hip. Keep lifting the upper body up as you inhale. Exhale, draw that right hip down towards the floor. Two breaths down. Last one. Inhale, keep lifting the upper body up. Exhale, release your right leg to join your left. Toes in, heels out. If you're finding too much compression in the lower back, draw the elbows forward. Inhale, lift the upper body up. Exhale, bend your left knee, draw the left knee out to the side and line with the left hip. Flex that left foot. Now focus on drawing that left hip down towards the floor. Two breaths here. Last one. Inhale, keep pressing down onto your forearms. Exhale, release your left leg to join your right. Slowly releasing your torso down, come into Cobra Pose. So palms flat beside your rib cage, legs together, forehead down, elbows up towards the ceiling. Inhale, press down onto your palms, lift your upper body up, draw your sit bones toward your heels, stretch your arms forward, lay your forehead down in between the arms. One movement. Knees and ankles together. Feel the lengthening of the spine. Relax the shoulders. And breathe. Deep breath in. Long breath out. Two more. Last one. And then slowly raise your body up. Come back into tabletop, low lunge, left side. So check your hand along and shoulder width apart, knees underneath the hips, feet hip distance apart. Step your left foot forward on the inside of the left hand. Ground that front foot, one breath, raise your arms up towards the ceiling. Shoulders away from the ears, front knee stays directly over the ankle. Ground that right shin and look forward. That's your dristi. Breathe. Last breath. Inhale, lengthen your arms. Exhale, right hand on left thigh, left hand on right hip. Draw the shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, draw the torso long. Exhale, draw your body to the left. So use your breath as you inhale, lengthen. Then exhale, draw your body to the left. Two breaths here. Last one. Return to low lunge, inhale, sweep your arms high towards the ceiling. Exhale, draw your arms into cactus shape. Inhale, circle your arms behind you, extend the arms forward. Exhale, draw your arms into cactus shape. Inhale, circle the arms behind you, rotate in the shoulder joint. Exhale, back to cactus shape. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, lift the fingertips high. Open up the chest. Exhale, take a bind. Left arm over your right. Take hold of your wrists or hands in prayer. Try and draw the elbows and lower the shoulders. Open up the thoracic spine. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, raise your arms overhead. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, raise your arms overhead. Two breaths. Last one. To release, inhale, raise both arms high, low lunge. Exhale, come into runner's lunge. Fingertips around your front foot, tuck your right toe. As you inhale, exhale, extend the right leg long. Draw the body forward. Two breaths here. Last one.
Inhale, draw the torso forward. Exhale, lower your palms flat onto the floor. Inhale, expand the body. Exhale, left hand onto your left hip or raise your left arm high. Look towards your left fingertips. Open up the chest, two breaths here. Last one. And slowly release your left hand to join your right. Move into the Adho Mukhasana, downward facing dog. Left foot back to join your right. Hand shoulder width apart, stretch your fingers wide, heels back towards the back of the mat as you lengthen the spine by drawing the chest towards your thighs. Shoulders away from the ears. Look towards your big toes, that's your dristi. Take two deep breaths. Last one. And slowly release your knees down the tabletop and come into a seated position. We're going to move into Paschimottanasana with our bolster or pillow. So we're going to just release the spine now. Move the flesh away from your sit bones, sit tall. Feet are wider than your hips, hands onto your shins, relax your feet, draw the crown up towards the ceiling, close the eyes as you inhale, feel the spine lengthening. And as you exhale, tuck the chin around the spine, slowly slide your hands down towards the soles of the feet. So you want to feel the body relaxed, avoid contraction or tightening of any muscles. Just allow your body to find that balance of release and relief. So once you find stillness, inhale, expand the body. And if you find your body opening, exhale, slide your hands towards the soles of the feet, head comes down in between the knees. So go slowly, relax the shoulders and breathe. Deep breath in. Long cleansing breath out. Deep inhalation. Long exhalation. Five more breaths. Two more. Last one. Maintain the soft state, moving slowly, eyelids close as you inhale. Create space and as you exhale, keep your chin tucked. Slowly walk your hands along your legs, stacking the spine one vertebra at a time. Slowly lengthening the torso. As the crown of the head comes up last, find stillness. You may feel slightly dizzy. Take two deep breaths. Last one. Mm. 
and slowly gently open the eyelids come to a lying position you're quite welcome to use your bolster or a block i'm going to use a block we're going to move into supported bridge pose so heels towards your sit bones knees remain hip distance apart and we're going to press down onto our hands and feet tilting the pelvis initially and then lifting the hips up towards the ceiling then placing the block now you have different heights you can go at the lowest level or the next level or the highest level which is the third option i'm going to use the second option and this is going to be placed at the sacrum that's a hard part of the lower back so you want to feel the hips opening the arms gently out to the side the palms up towards the ceiling so we're releasing the shoulders and gently close the eyelids and allow your body to reset to recover so we nurtured our body through our meditation movement now we're nourishing refueling replenishing restoring all the abundant energy absorbing it and finding the benefits from our practice five more breaths Two more. Last one. Inhale, bend your right knee towards your chest. Exhale, place your right ankle on top of your left thigh. Draw the right knee away from the body. Flex that right foot. Just feel this gentle release through that inner right thigh and right hip flexor. Two breaths here. Last one. Inhale, gently draw that right knee back towards the center of your body. Exhale, release your right foot to join your left. Inhale, bend your left knee towards your chest. Exhale, left ankle, right thigh. Draw that left knee away from the body. Flex that left foot. Two breaths here. last one inhale slowly draw that left knee towards the center of your body exhale release your left foot to join your right stay here for two more breaths last one pressing down onto your palms and feet as you inhale lift the hips up then remove the block or the pillow or bolster and slowly as you exhale release your spine the upper back round spine the middle back 
then the lower back. Extend your left leg long, bend your right knee towards your chest. Give it a gentle hug as you inhale. Exhale, roll over to the left side, right knee comes down onto the floor. Keep rolling over, stack your hips and shoulders, head gently onto the floor. Inhale, raise your right arm high up towards the ceiling. Then exhale, release the right arm directly out to the side of the body. And take five long deep breaths. Two more. Last one. Moving slowly as you inhale, roll over flat onto your back, give your right knee a gentle hug. Exhale, extend your right leg long, bend your left knee towards your chest. Give it a gentle hug as you inhale. Exhale, roll over to the right side, left knee comes down onto the floor and lie with the left hip. Stack your hips and shoulder. Inhale, raise your left arm high. Exhale, release the left arm directly out to the side of the body. If you have no neck problems, you're welcome to look towards your left fingertips and breathe. Last breath. Moving slowly as you inhale, roll over flat onto your back, give your left knee a gentle hug. Exhale, bend both knees towards your chest. Wrap your arms around your shins, squeeze the knees tightly, compress your spine flat onto the floor. Use your breath as you inhale, find stillness. Then exhale, squeeze the knees tightly towards your chest. Two more breaths. Last one. And relax the tension, rock side to side. Just feeling this gentle movement through the lower back. Take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. And gently release into Savasana. You can place a, a pillow or a bolster under your bent knees. Ensure that your body is centered and balanced onto your mat. Extend the legs long, feet as wide as your mat. Stretch the arms out wide, palms up towards the ceiling. Close the eyes. And surrender to Savasana. Avoid any physical movements. Allow your body to find stillness. And as you find stillness, you find a deeper connection, the internal awareness of how your physical body feels. You can 
feel your body sinking down onto the earth. As you become aware of all the sensations, all the vibrations that lie within. Allowing your body to absorb all the benefits from your practice with every inhalation and with every exhalation the body cleanses, purifies, removing all elements that do not serve you within. Feel a sense of peace, tranquility and bliss beginning to form. And it slowly spreads throughout your entire body. Enjoy this moment, this gift of time you've given to yourself. The wondrous, magical feeling of Savasana. Quite welcome to pause the video at this time. And remain in Savasana for as long or as little as you feel necessary. Thank you for taking the time to join me in this video of nurturing and nourishing the body. A wonderful session just to allow yourself to absorb all the abundant energy around you. If you did enjoy the video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, really does help with my business. Or alternatively, um, press the bell button, you will receive notification of any new uploads that I do. I hope the rest of your day and the rest of your week is full with love, light, happiness and health. Namaste.